Greetings, friends. Welcome to another edition of the Gospel Uncompromised. I minister D. Bush from the Church of God, a church that's built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. We're always glad to have this opportunity to minister to you. Now, if you have questions or comments regarding what you hear on this broadcast, you're more than welcome to contact us. You can reach us by email. My email address is ministerdbush at gmail.com. St. John chapter 4. St. John chapter 4. St. John chapter 4. And at verse 23. St. John chapter 4. And we begin reading at verse 23. Very familiar passage of scripture. We often quote it. Um, We'll kind of teach on it a little bit today. St. John chapter 4 and in verse 23. Amen. St. John chapter 4 and in verse 23. The Bible says, But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worship, when the that I will come it, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. But the hour will come it, and now is, when the true worship worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God wants true worship. God wants pure worship. The man have gone about to do what he wants to do, how he wants to do it, but God wants true worship. What you're doing must be according to truth. Verse 24, he said, For God, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Must. There is no other choice. What you're doing has to be according, it has to be according to truth. If it's according to the spirit of God, it's going to be according to truth. Now, there's a whole lot of excitement in a lot of these churches, but what they're doing is not according to truth. So what spirit is it that got you moving? What spirit is it that got you jumping? What spirit is it that got you running? Speaking in tongues. If you, you can speak and you jumping and shouting over a lie, the man lying to you, what you read, you, you can't read what he's saying. That's why I tell people all the time, you go to church, pay attention. You know? That's why I don't, I don't like no arguing behind me. I want you to hear what I'm saying. You know, all of that stuff is a bunch of hype. You get you you excited and you never heard nothing. You didn't really hear what the preacher was saying. Oh, let's tell your neighbor this. Tell your neighbor that. No, I want when I'm up, I want you to follow me in the scriptures. But the hour will come it, and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. See, a lot of folk go to church just to go. Well, it's Sunday, so I need to go to church. Because I know Big Mama taught her to go to church, and, and she'll roll over her grave if I don't go to church. That ain't no reason to go to church. You do better to stay at home. <clears throat> but the hour coming and now is when the true worshipers of God shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seek it. Such to worship him. He's seeking the folk that, that are honest, the folk that are sincere. That's what God wants. He wants honest, sincere praise. Honest, sincere service. <clears throat> and the whole that during his earthly ministry, that's the problem he had with the, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They were just going through the motions, but it wasn't in their heart to do it. But God is a spirit. And they that worship him must. See, that's a, a must. Worship him in spirit and in truth. Look, all right, look at St. John chapter uh, 14. 
St. John chapter 14. Amen, amen. If we had the title of the talk, we just use St. John 4, 24. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. St. John chapter 14. St. John chapter 14, and uh, we'll pick it up at verse 6. St. John chapter 14, and at verse 6 in the Bible says, Jesus said unto them, I am the way. I am the way, not one of the ways. But the way, the truth, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Now Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You can only get to God by truth. Our brother used to tell us all the time, a lie came free. I don't care how good it sounds, how much excitement is around it. If, if you're sitting under a lie, you're in bondage. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. Only way you can get to God is through Jesus Christ, is through the word of God. You're going to church now and you're hearing everything but the word of God. You hear, you know, I, I, I say, I don't have hermeneutics. I don't have exegetical principles. All I have is the word of God. That's all I have. All right, look now at St. John chapter 6. St. John chapter 6. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. St. John chapter 6. St. John chapter uh, 6. We'll pick it up at verse 44. St. John chapter 6 and at verse 44. St. John chapter 6 and at verse 44. All right. And the Bible says, No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. And I will raise him up at that last day. See, a lot of preachers have taken it upon themselves to uh, institute church growth uh, strategies and so forth. But now Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto me except God draws him. No man can come to the Father except God draws him. <laughs> now, no man cometh to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. Now, now people... Uh, See, people want what want uh, you know, like they, they tell you to. Uh, well, it's, it's flu season, so get a flu shot. Mm -hmm. To to that it, it may help you against the flu. No guarantee. So that's the way people want uh, this the, 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 this religion. They want a flu shot religion. That's something that may help them. Mm -hmm. But I want the real thing. Mm -hmm. I want something that I know for a fact is going to save me in the end. Thank you. And God is seeking true worshipers yes. that's going to worship him in spirit and in truth. Yes. No man coming to me except the Father which has sent me draw him and I will raise him up in that day. <clears throat> All right, still in St. John chapter 6. All right, drop down now to uh, verse... 64. St. John chapter 6 at verse 64 now. Amen. And the Bible says, but there are some of you that believe not. And that's the problem. They go on to church. They don't believe the word of God. But there are some of you that believe not, for Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believe not and who should betray him. Who was going to stop following him? He knew it. And he said, therefore, and he said, therefore, say I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. <clears throat> See, you got to want to, you got to want to be right. When a person want to be right, they're not going to fight the word of God. They're not going to fight the word of God. They're just going to armor themselves down and come up to it. It may take them some time, but they're not going to fight it. 
But see, people come to church with their little ideas and their little baggage. And they don't want to give it up. Mm -hmm. So they want to incorporate their little ideas into the, the word of God. That'll never work. Mm -hmm. That's how you have all of this uh, different stuff going on in church now that the Bible don't, don't sanction. Mm -hmm. That's why you have women preachers in churches now. Mm -hmm. The Bible don't, don't sanction no women preachers. Mm -hmm. That's why you have people... Uh, uh, you know, they, they're just going along with this homosexual thing mm -hmm. because they want a crowd. Mm -hmm. They want a crowd and, 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 and they want a big offering. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but see, I, I understand. I don't have a quote. I, I got to save myself. Mm -hmm. Peter told us on the day of Pentecost, he said, save yourself yeah. from this untoward generation. It's verse, verse 65, and eight, therefore say I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. You got to want to be right. Mm -hmm. well, look, look at verse 66 now. He said, from, from that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Now, 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 watch what Jesus does. He didn't change what he, he didn't ch the message didn't change. Mm -hmm. So now, because I saw uh, uh, some time back on, on the Word Network, I believe it was, one of these so-called Christian channels, the preacher saying you have to become how to stay relevant. You know, sometimes you need to make changes to stay relevant. No, you don't. Ch ch change the Word of God. You get in trouble with that. <clears throat> and from that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. But look, look, look what Jesus did right here. Then Jesus said unto the twelve, will ye also go away? No, Jesus said unto the twelve, we have to change how we do things so we can draw more people. Y'all see that? Jesus want to know, y'all going to? Watch this. Then Simon Peter said, Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Where are we going? That's why. What are you going to these, these churches for? And the preacher, ordained, he, he, he ordained the women. What you going over there for? You, you know he, on the slide, agreed with homosexuality. Why are you going? What you going over there for? God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yeah. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom will we go? Thou hast the word of eternal life. The word of God is the only thing that can say. Oh, the they choir sounds so good. They, the, they, don't praise team dancers, they're so pretty. I ain't no praise team dancers in here. No. So what, what, what you going over there for? Oh, they, last year, the, the Christmas program was just beautiful. Yeah. Hey, where's the Christmas program in here? What, what, why are you going over there? Because of the crowd over there. I'm going to go where the crowd is. <clears throat> but God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. See, there's no, you you gone over there and your life hasn't changed. The only thing you did was add going to church to your schedule. See, there's some folk, in, in, no doubt, in, in some of these parking lots right now, they got a cooler in their car with beer on ice in it. Waiting for Rev to hear them clothes. So they can go on out and do what they got to do. Some of them walk on the praise team down. The praise team down. They'll be in a nightclub tonight. <coughs> no change. Bible talking, but see, Bible preach repentance. You got to repent. Yes. What does it mean, repent? You got to stop and turn. Acknowledge you wrong, apologize for it, and turn from it. But don't nobody want to do that. See, I heard a preacher say, well, it don't matter what you do. It just matter who you trust, who you accept. That's just a disgrace. <clears throat> okay, look at uh, Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. 
Mark chapter 16, and we'll start at verse 15. Mark chapter 16 and verse 15. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Mark chapter 16 and at verse 15, and the Bible says, He said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Preach the gospel. The gospel, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. When you preach the gospel, if people believe the gospel, then change is going to take place. Because on the day of Pentecost, Peter preached the gospel. And they came to him saying, men and brethren, what shall we do after they heard the gospel? Then they didn't hear all of this fancy, polished Bible school mess. All right, preach the gospel. Look, look at verse 16. Now, he said, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. See, once I give it to you, you can do what you want with it. Mm -hmm. See, a preacher is a divine mailman. Mm -hmm. See, that mailman come out there and he put that, that, that bill in the box. Mm -hmm. you, and, and, and no, if he, you don't pay it, ain't gonna, ain't no, ain't no, gonna affect him. Mm -hmm. no. no skin off his nose. Mm -hmm. He did his job when he delivered it to you. And that's what the preachers of the gospel, true preachers of the gospel, have to understand. Mm -hmm. It's not your job that we got to get folks saved. That's not your job. Mm -hmm. Your job is to preach the word. Yeah. And that's it. Mm -hmm. And if they receive it, if they, but not, well, let's just read on here. He said, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. If you believe this gospel, you're going you're gonna to act accordingly. And said so sometimes I think some of the old timers they, they they missed that because they had the rules and they tried to make folk do stuff. Mm -hmm. But if they did it and if not in their heart, it's still there's no benefit to them. Mm -hmm. That's why that's why I I, I, I don't I, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna make nobody do anything. <clears throat> he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. No, if you if you if you don't if you sit here and hear this gospel and don't obey, it's not on me. It's on me if I don't give it to you. See, if I if I try to make you uh, excited, try to make you a happy and 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 and, and preach an irritating message to you, now I'm I'm damning myself. All right, look at uh um First Timothy, First Timothy. First Timothy chapter one. I'm um, chapter four. I'm sorry. First Timothy chapter four. Amen. Amen. First Timothy chapter four. <coughs> amen. Amen. First Timothy chapter four. First Timothy chapter four. And we'll read verse one. First Timothy chapter four, and at verse one. And the Bible says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Some shall depart from the faith. There's nothing you can do about it. You know, the old saying goes, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, and we're in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. They're going over, uh, you, you know, they're going to go where the crowd is. Yes. Unfortunately, that's what people want. They want a big crowd. Yes. <clears throat> but if you study the scriptures, God, ne God never was with a big crowd. <clears throat> what, what's this verse 2? Speaking lies in hypocrisy. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. So some of these preachers, I, I wonder how in the world can they sleep at night. But it tells you right there, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. They care nothing about the people. They look at people. They don't see a, li a living soul. They see a dollar sign. <clears throat> but look at verse 6 now. Uh, verse 6. We're in for First uh, Timothy chapter four, verse six. Now, watch this. And the Bible says, "Watch this. Um, if thou put the brethren in the remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished upon the words of faith." See, that's all I can do. 
I'm going to put you in remembrance of the word of God. You know, it's not going to win me any accolades. I'm not going to win any prizes. You know, I may never have, you know, 500 members, but that's fine. <clears throat> if thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shall be a good minister. Now, if thou have th a thousand members and a, a million dollar church building, then you're a good minister. Y'all see it? See it? If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished upon the words of faith and of good doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. See, I want good doctrine. Good doctrine. That's what I want. Now, now he told us to go into all the world and preach the gospel. And he that believed and is baptized. So if you believe it, that's fine. If you don't, it's still fine. It's still fine. <clears throat> Okay, look at 2 Timothy now. 2 Timothy chapter 4. Amen, amen. 2 Timothy chapter 4. Second Timothy chapter 4. All right, 2 Timothy chapter 4. And we'll start reading at verse 1. And the Bible says, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Watch now. Preach the word. <clears throat> no, preach hermeneutics. Preach exegetical principles. See? Preach the word. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. Preach the word. Be instant in season. Don't be, be quick about it. You hear these preachers that, and, and they ask a tough question and they, they beating around the bush. They dancing around the issue. They don't want to just come out and flat out say, well, look, the word of God said this. Here recently, a, a couple of months ago, uh, T.D. Jace was asked a question. He was asked, can the homosexual community and the church coexist? And he said, absolutely. Here's a man with thousands of members, and he said the church and the homosexual community can coexist. And he said, well, what you need to do is find you a church that fits your needs. That's not but one church. That's not but, that's not but one church. Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Preach the word. Now, if they would ask me, can the homosexual community and the, the church coexist? No, absolutely not. Though God said it's an abomination. And God is, in, is the head of the church. And what he say is what goes. I can only say what the book say. Yeah. Preach the word. Be instant. In season. Out of season. Whether they will hear you or not. Reprove. Rebuke. Exhort. With all long suffering and doctrine. Watch this though. Look, look, look now. Verse 3, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Just, be, just because they don't hear it don't mean you stop preaching it. Just because folks get turned off by it, you can't change it. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Watch this. But after their own lust. After their own lust. They want something that's going to appeal to their flesh. After their own lust, well, little, shall they heap to themselves? So that means it's going to be a bunch of them. Shall they heap to themselves, teachers having itching ears, and we are in an itching ear season. <clears throat> what, verse 4, look, look now. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. They don't want to hear truth now. Don't want to hear truth. You are uncool. You are considered uneducated, unintelligent when you preach truth. See, this message will be considered uncool. 
But God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and they shall be turned unto fables. Fables, fairy tales. A woman got just as much preach, right to preach the gospel as a man do. Fable. Fables. They shall be turned to fables. A gay Christian. That's a fable. No such thing as a gay Christian. Fable. It don't matter what you do. It just doesn't matter who you accept. Fable. And folks believe that type of junk. <laughs> they believe it. They're changing the stuff up now. Go to Revelations now. Revelations, amen, amen. Revelation chapter 22. Praise the Lord. Revelation chapter 22. And we'll get verse 18. Revelation chapter 22. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 22. And we'll start at verse 18. All right. And the word of God says, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. Watch this. If any man shall add unto these things. So if what the preacher is saying not in the book, I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written into this book. So you can't add to it. Verse 19, watch this. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, so where you get women preachers for? Ain't no woman preaching here. So now you've taken away from the book because the book forbid it. You, you saying homosexuality is okay? The book forbid it. Where did you get it from? Now verse 19, it says, If any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. And out of the holy city and from the things that are written in this book. Now go and go to church. God take your name out of the, out of the, your, your name is taken out of the book of life. Now go to church if you want to. You do better going to the mall. If you're not going to preach the word of God, go, go to the movies. <clears throat> Amen. You got to, you got to preach this word. He told Jeremiah, don't be moved by their faces. Just preach the word. Look at Romans chapter 3. Romans chapter 3. <coughs> God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And if you're not being taught the truth, you can't worship God properly. <coughs> Romans chapter 3. Praise the Lord. Romans chapter 3. Romans chapter 3 and then verse 3. Now remember he said go into all the world and preach the gospel. And he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Alright. Romans chapter 3 and then verse 3. For what if some did not believe? And we just read over in in in, in uh, Second Timothy chapter four, they're gonna turn away. They they're gonna turn away from the truth. We just read that. So now he says here. Now for what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Just because they don't believe it, then you gotta change what you're doing. Shall their unbelief? If I tell you two plus two is four and you don't believe it, does it change the fact that it's the two plus two is four? For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Let God be true. But every man alive. Let God be true. And it, it doesn't matter who it is. If it's your daddy and he's saying something contrary to the word of God, you let God be true. 
Some people, you know, they revere their pastors. They have great respect for their pastors. And they take their pastor word over what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. Well, well, see, my pastor say, well, you know, now Bishop Johnson said, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. Let God be true. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. If what you're doing is not in the Bible, it's not going to help you. Yeah. Go to St. John chapter 8, and we got to get ready to let you go. St. John chapter 8. Jesus said everybody got to come in by the door. Come in another way, you're a thief and a robber. <clears throat> St. John chapter 8. And we'll begin reading at verse 30. St. John chapter 8 and at verse 30. All right. And the Bible says, And he spake these words, many believed on him. Then said Jesus unto those Jews, which believed on him, watch this, if thou continue in my word, if thou continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, if you continue in my word. So now how is it that things that we started out with years ago, they're no longer relevant? They were in the word of God. But now all of a sudden, it's, it's no longer relevant. God, the word don't change. People do, but the word don't. If thou continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And watch, look, look. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So now, how? if you haven't changed, you have, you're not being exposed to truth. You're going to church every Sunday. But you're still living like you've always lived. <clears throat> and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. <clears throat> amen, amen. I'm dropped for the second time. Drop down to verse 36, still in St. John chapter 8, at verse 36 now. The Bible says, if the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. For upon everything else but the word of God. Everything else but the word of God. But everything, they used to say in the old song, everything going down but the word of God. All this stuff is going down. You got to come back to the book. That's the only thing that's going to save you. Is the word of God. Amen, amen. We'll leave it right there. We thank God for you. We thank God for all things in the name of the Lord Jesus. I hope I said something to help somebody.